addition of two digit numbers without carrying over. Starry, isn't this a nice board? We can write or draw on this board with a marker. Another interesting feature of this board is that it is magnetic. Come on, let us learn addition of two digit numbers using this board. See, I have already drawn squares of 100 on this board. Let us now see how to add say 25 and 6. Yes, yes, Starry. The method is the same as using the square of 20. First, we put this magnetic coin on the number 25. Now, move the coin ahead 6 squares in the same and next column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which square do we read, Starry? Yes, 31. So, 25 plus 6 equals 31. Did you understand, Starry? Okay, then let's solve the next example, 57 plus 9. Here, let's put the coin on the number 57. How many squares do we have to move ahead? Yes, 9 squares. Here we have reached the number 66. So, we can say that 57 plus 9 is equal to 66. Isn't this a lot of fun? Okay, now let's look at another example. It is 5 added to 81. On which square should we put the coin starry? Yes, we start from the square 81. Now let's move the coin ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, thus 81 plus 5 is equal to 86. I know what you are thinking, Starry. You are wondering, this square can be used for adding 2 Two-digit numbers. This will take a long time. For example, if we have to add 82 to 16, then you know what we have to do, Starry. Yes, we have to move the coin 82 squares ahead of 16. This will take a long time. So, let's use another method to do the addition. 
16 plus 82. First, we will arrange the numbers in vertical arrangement. Write 1 in the tens place and 6 in the units place. Next, let's place 8 below 1 in the tens place and 2 below 6 in the units place. First, we shall add the digits in the units column. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Next, we have to add the digits in the tens place. We get 1 plus 8 equals 9. So, starry, 16 plus 82 is equal to 98. Isn't this a much faster method, Starry? Okay, then let's solve a few examples. Add 23 and 61. What should we do first, Dari? We shall first arrange the numbers in proper columns. In the number 23, write 2 in the tens column and 3 in the units column. What about 61, Dari? Yes, we write 6 below 2 in tens place and 1 below 3 in the units place. Now, let's do the addition. 3 units plus 1 unit equals to 4 units. 2 tens plus 6 tens is equal to 8 tens. So, 23 plus 61 is equal to 84. Let's solve the next example. It is 40 plus 12. We shall first arrange the numbers vertically as shown. Now, Starry, carry out the addition. Yes, on adding digits in the units place, we get 0 plus 2 equals 2 units. Next, 4 tens plus 1 ten is equal to 5 tens. So, what answer do we get, Starry? Yes, 40 plus 12 is equal to 52. Remember, Starry, it is not necessary to make columns for the tens and units place to do addition each time. But it is necessary to write the digits in the correct places. Let's solve one example. Add 35 plus 52. First, we shall write the number 35. Next, write 52 below 35 in such a way that 5 is written below 3 and 2 below 5. 
Let's add the digits in the units place first. So, 5 plus 2 equals 7 units. Next, we add the digits in the tens place. So, what is the answer, Starry? Yes, 3 tens plus 5 tens is equal to 8 tens. Thus, 35 plus 52 equals 87. In the next example, add 7 and 31. Arrange the numbers vertically as shown. Starry, do you know what the answer is? 7 units plus 1 unit is equal to 8 units. 3 tens is written as it is in the tens place. So, 7 plus 31 equals 38. Here's the last example. The numbers here have been arranged vertically. How much is 22 plus 55 equal to? Yes, Starry. 2 units plus 5 units equals 7 units. 2 tenths plus 5 tenths is equal to 7 tenths. So, 22 plus 55 is equal to 77. So, Starry, remember, when using the vertical arrangement to add, placing of the digits is very important.